Hey guys, welcome back to another Mossam Firestorm video, and today we got another evolution video. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be one of those better, uh, good videos. So, yeah, hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. This is the third or whatever episode of the evolution series. I'm very, very excited to kick this off, and here we go. You guys can see we have zombie. So, I was originally gonna do Max D, but now we got zombie instead. So, here it is. Zombie, the first ever one made, and here's the second one. A little bit of a difference. Uh, of course, they took away a lot of the blood that they put on the zombie originally, because a lot of fans kind of were not a lot, but kind of few more around the kids were kind of scared of this truck, I guess, because how much blood was on the truck. So of course they removed a lot of the blood, the scratches, all that type of stuff, and this is kind of what it looks like today. It's kind of like. I feel like Zombie looks a little bit plain right now, but, you know, whatever. Um, zombie looks like this and how it is. It's kind of pale. Um, I don't know if the colors really changed too much. I feel like the colors kind of stayed. Um, but this was the last time we saw the normal Zombie until we saw some Encore Zombies. And then, of course, the Zombies, the Zombie that we have nowadays. So, I'm going to now talk about the next few Zombies. So, the next few are going to be quite long. The first... Zombie I'm going to pull up on a screen other than this one is, of course, the Biker Zombie, the Green Zombie. This is one of the most uh, detailed zombies that we have. So if you guys actually want to know what the full thing looks like, I might put a picture of the Spin Master truck that came out. Um, because that's kind of a good helper to look at what it looks like. Because in this, there's no photos of the truck actually, like how it really looked like. But you guys can kind of make out like what it looks like, I guess. Um, on the top, it had like a red and white bandana, uh, the clothes had like a, had like a huge leg in the back, uh, the beard had actually a huge beard, you guys can't really tell, because of how much damage got done to this truck, um, there was like another arm, I believe, on the truck, I'm not too sure about that though, uh, there's just so much more detail that just got destroyed after the Encore, and sadly, we, I don't think we have, at least to this day, any f real good photos, clear photos at least, before the Encore. Most of them are all after, and after that they were all destroyed. So this is the Biker Zombie, probably one of the most uh, sad zombies that we sadly never got to see what it fully looks like until the Spin Master Diecast. So uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say about this Biker Zombie. And let's move on to one of my favorite ones, the Skeleton Zombie. Now Skeleton Zombie was kind of plain. A lot of people kind of probably didn't like it. Um, per se, at the beginning I thought it was kind of dumb. Because it looks just like the normal zombie, just with uh, a little bit more pale skin and just... Uh, but when I looked at it a little bit more, guys, this truck is definitely amazing. It's a pale white body. You guys can see every little dot, like little like dots like of flesh, are all co colored in black. Like burnt, I guess. In a way, not burnt, but it's like hollow. Like, like a ske skeleton would be hollow. There's nothing that left of like any, like, you know... Um, hearts or like lungs or anything so you guys can see that there's no flesh at all just like bones like dry bone color everywhere black arm as like i guess like a located arm dislocated with a i don't know something it looks really insane purple clothes instead of the normal clothes cold color and that was the skeleton zombie nothing else to say about that so here's the next one the burnt victim now the burnt victim i have literally no photos of uh, except for this one, which you guys cannot even see the face, sadly. Um, I, I tried to see if I could find more photos, but I don't think I can, or did, at least right now. Um, but this is basically what the burnt victim looked like. It was the normal zombie. So all these were the normal zombie, just colored and different. This one kind of had burnt flesh, so if you know what f like a zombie looks like in movies, where it has burnt flesh, that's what it looks like, and white clothing, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I can say about the Burnt Victim. Not much to say, because there's not much to see. Uh, the next one is this Yellow Zombie. Now, the Yellow Zombie, in my opinion, was probably the one that stayed alive, like, the, the best. Same with the Skeleton one. This is the Yellow Zombie, of course, you guys can see. Uh, it is really, really detailed. Uh, the, the whole thing is yellow, of course, with red flesh everywhere, like, red d polka dots or whatever. And there's also pink, tattered clothing all over the place. And the long, long hair. Now I'm going to show you guys. A, now I'm going to show you guys a photo of uh, the face. Now this is what the face looked like. It had like eyeliner, uh, blue eyes, 
The fingernails were also painted like red. Um, you guys can see the mouth has like a huge arm in it. Uh, lipstick as well, which is all that red around the mouth. That's lipstick. It was a really cool truck. I feel like this was definitely one of the best zombies. Uh, this was kind of a photo of the aftermath after the encore. So, uh, yeah, that's all I can really say to the yellow zombie. And now let's move on to the last one, which is really easy to talk about. The fire zombie. Basically, the, the burnt victim just in a fiery, blown-up version. So, yeah, that's all I can say about this video, guys. Really, really uh, short, kind of long video about the Encore zombies and all the zombies in total. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and this Masha Firestorm, signing out.